So today we're going to show you how to do a soap test. Now why would you need a soap test? Well, if you get a box from corrugated and you don't really know what the bore grade is to quote for or whatever and you want to find out what the liners and the fluting are, the quickest and easiest way is to do a soap test. So this is a bit of board, bit of B flute I've got and I have a template which is made of thick card, 100 millimeters square and that's what we need 100 millimeters square of the board and then we soak it peel it apart and then we can weigh it now this bit of board i made myself and i've used for years you can actually get aluminium uh, pieces of two millimeter aluminium and a little handle on thing ready made so you can draw around them so that's what i'm going to do i've got a square edge already but it doesn't matter if you've got a square edge you can always line it up with a flute but really it doesn't really matter as long as you get a piece of board that's cut 100 millimeters square so just mark it cut it with a knife and a ruler i've got a safety edge here just in case i don't uh, danger of slicing my finger off very easy to do make sure you've got a sharp blade that's the secret to any cutting of cardboard really so there we have a piece of board 100 millimeters square roughly so now we go and put this in the sink full of water to soak it apart and uh, that way we're well on our way to determining what the board grade is in this piece of board. This is now in the sink soaking. We'll leave it for a few minutes and um, usually if it's cheap paper it will peel up quite quickly. If it's pure craft it takes quite a while to uh, separate so we'll leave it and see what happens okay so after about five minutes this paper here has separated very simply didn't really have to do anything at all it just came apart on its own sorry about the shadows it's a very sunny day today um, but if it was craft or a heavy liner you might have to sort of gently prise it apart and put it back in the water and get it to soak one side will always come off the better side uh, quicker. Usually the inside liner is easy. The outside liner, because the way it's made on the corrugator, sometimes is a little bit more tricky to peel away. But as this is recycled paper, it's pretty easy. So now we move on to the next stage where we have to dry it. Okay, the next stage of the soak test is to dry the paper that we've just peeled apart from the sink. So I usually use a bit of a kitchen roll. And what we need to do is take the excess water off and also all the starch bits that are on there you can just see the lines probably of starch you need to get rid of those don't make a huge amount of difference but it's best to get rid of it so I use a kitchen table or kitchen side for this as it's near the microwave because this is what we're going to use the microwave to dry them out so that's one part do the rest get it as smooth as you can both sides okay and then the fluting. The fluting, if it's really thin fluting, be very careful because and gentle with it, otherwise it will rip apart. So very carefully flatten it out as much as you can to the both sides. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. You don't want it catching fire if it's in there too long on full power. And I stop it after maybe 30, 40 seconds just to see where we are. I maybe turn it over so it's drying on the way. You need to get it virtually fully dry, uh, but be careful. <laughs> just um, a disclaimer there. I'm not responsible for your microwave bursting into flames. Okay. It's a good idea to turn it over every so often. It stops it sticking to the uh, turntable. Okay, so we've now dried the three pieces of paper. This is the outer liner. You can tell the outer liner because there's virtually no washboarding effect on the outside. This is the inner liner because it's washboarding both, both sides. The fluting. But what we have to do now with this fluting is to make sure it's 100 millimeters square. So there's one, away, one or two ways to do this. You can either just mark it against the piece of paper and stretch it, which is what I do mark it there or you can use the template again and try and stretch it 
doesn't have to be perfectly accurate to 100 millimeters you know 98 millimeters or 102 won't make any difference then i slice it with a pair of scissors to get it roughly the 100 millimeter square so i usually start from the outside so i've got a set of scales here they are scales that measure down to 0.01 of a gram <clears throat> sort of drug dealer scales really but uh, they work and um, they give me the figure that i need so you have to reset it to zero, pop it on the scale, and it tells me it's 112, or 1.12, so you multiply that by 100, it's 112. So this paper piece here is 112 grams per square metre. Probably really is 110 grams per square metre basis weight. That's probably what its specification is. The fluting... Always make sure it's teared back to zero or zeroed back to zero. This is a set of old scales and they're a bit wonky. So that's 101. So that's probably 100 GSM fluting, waste fluting, of course. Then the inner liner. Make sure no bit of paper's hanging off like this because that can affect the weight. So that's settled at 104. So that's probably also 100 grams per square meter. They're all recycled paper. Uh, and in another video, I can show you how you tell the difference. But basically, if you just tear it, it's, you can see it's made out of bus tickets, basically, in tissue paper. I make no apology for saying that because I come from an era where real paper was used back in the uh, early 70s, late 60s. And it was true craft. This is, this looks like it's a craft, but actually it's a fake craft. So this board was 110, 100 fluting and 100 inside liner. Okay, so that's how we determine uh, what the board grade is using a soak test.